I want to thank Squarespace for helping make this video possible. Go to squarespace.com slash polyphonic and use the offer code polyphonic to get 10% off your first purchase. 21 Pilots are one of the most exciting bands working right now. Blending alternative rock, punk, and emo with hip-hop and rap, they've developed a unique sound that's taken the world by storm. But even more than their music, what's truly groundbreaking about 21 Pilots is their storytelling. They combine lyrics and music videos with cryptic images released on their website and social media. Put together, it all hints at a broad dystopian story, but it's not laid out clearly. Instead, it's up to the fans to decipher and draw meaning from everything. Let's take a closer look. In April 2018, fans of 21 Pilots noticed that a video on their website had been changed. The new version contained a brief flash of a URL at the end. Following that link brought you to a website full of scanned images, notes from a character named Clancy, and short black and white video clips. And just like that, the search was on. 21 Pilot fans, known as the Skeleton Clique, began to dig through this information furiously, pulling out any hints they could. This culminated in a Reddit mega thread where everyone pulled together the information they found, including hints and lyrics and even a line from a 2017 award speech. Um, Tyler wishes he could be here. Um, he's actually off severing ties with Dima. Pieced together, all of this tells a story. And while it's filled with strange imagery and obscured plot points, the story is simple at its core. It's about Clancy's escape from the dystopian city of Dima, controlled by nine bishops. Some people think that the nine bishops are represented in the artwork to the band's previous album, Blurry Face. The bishops are led by Nicolas Bourbaki, or Nico for short. His name comes from a group of French mathematicians who published under that pseudonym. That group created the notation for an empty set, or zero, a symbol that 21 pilots have used liberally throughout their career. Trench's third song, Morph, discusses Nico by name. They always try to stop me, that Nicholas Borbaki. He's got no friends close, but those who know him most know he goes by Nico. He told me I'm a copy when I hear him mock me. That's almost stopped me. Well, the ninth song on Trench, Nico and the Niners, also discusses the bishops and their rule. When bishops come together, they will know that Dima don't control us. Dima don't control us. This is a... They wanna make you forget. The music video for that song shows the city of Dima. So high, I'm flying from a fire from Nico and the Niners. The name Dima comes from the Persian word for Towers of Silence, which were a kind of structure built by Zoroastrians. Zoroastrian tradition had strict rules around disposing of the dead. Dead bodies would be laying out on these structures so that carrion birds could come and eat them. Carrion birds are another important image for 21 pilots. The DMAorg website features a gif of a vulture, and the artwork for Trench also features a vulture. Lyrically, the band put some meaning to the vulture imagery in Levitate, where they talk about how being a celebrity and being in the public eye is like being left out for carrion birds. This culture is a culture of overexposure, not today don't feed me to the vultures, I am a vulture who feeds on pain. Another important part of Trench's story is the Banditos, a rebellious group who Clancy joined up with when he's trying to leave Dima. The aptly named song Bandito from the album talks about this group. My Blood could also be about Clancy joining the Banditos and finding new family. Surrounded and up against the wall. Clearly, we could go on with references from within the story for hours. It's told through dozens of small bits and intertwining hints. But what I want to talk about is the biggest theme of the story, mental illness. Tyler Joseph, one half of 21 Pilots, has struggled with mental illness his entire life. This is something he wrote about on Blurry Face, where he created a character that was a representation of his insecurities. By tying the nine bishops to the artwork of Blurryface, we can see that the bishops are also representations of different aspects of Joseph's own self-doubt and mental illness. These themes come through pretty clearly in the lyrics to Jumpsuit. This song reads like a reflection of social anxiety. Neil 
Beyond Gravestones taps further into the themes of depression, discussing how we glorify mental illness in celebrities. My opinion, our culture can treat a loss like it's a win, and right before we turn on them, we give them the highest of praise and hang the banner from a ceiling. Communicating further, engraving an earlier grave is an optional way. Instead of glorifying his own mental illness, Tyler Joseph seeks to empathize with people struggling with depression and find other things to celebrate. Get glorified, maybe we swap out what it is that we hold so high. Find your grandparents or someone of age. Pay some respects for the path that they paved to life they were dedicated. Now that should be celebrated. The symbolism around mental illness is clear in the very city of Dima as well. A city designed in the shape of an excarnation structure is a perfect metaphor for the suicidal thoughts that come with depression. Death is in the very architecture of the city, and Clancy is trapped in Dima, just like people are trapped by their own mental illness. And so Trench becomes the story of Clancy escaping Dima. It becomes the story of Tyler, or the story of anyone who listens to the album, fighting against mental illness and learning to live with it. The color yellow is a major theme in the album's storytelling, and it's representative of this fight. It's the color of the sun, the color of hope. The story of Clancy's escape is played out partially in a trilogy of videos, Jumpsuit, Nico and the Niners, and Levitate. These videos show Clancy's liberation, pulling shots from the original DMA Org website and bringing them to fruition. They feature jumpsuits with yellow straps, the symbol of the banditos and of rebellion against Dima, rebellion against depression. I think it was a brilliant move for 21 Pilots to craft this narrative as a dystopian story. It's a kind of story that we're all familiar with, full of archetypal figures and settings. Given the disjointed nature of the telling, it would be more difficult to grasp a story with structure that wasn't so embedded in our collective unconscious. But at the same time, dystopian stories allow for world building, and that's something 21 Pilots do with vigor on Trench. The world building is a key part of the storytelling because it allows listeners to jump into Dima themselves. As you decode 21 Pilots' messages, you feel like you're part of an underground movement. Perhaps most importantly, this helps build a community around cracking these riddles. One of the biggest struggles for many people with mental illness is that they feel alone, like they don't have anybody in their corner, and like they have no reason to get out of bed and face the world every day. When you're working as part of a digital team to crack 21 Pilots' secret codes, it gives you something to look forward to, something to power you through your day, and a community to rely on. In the end, I don't think we'll ever have a crystal clear picture of the narrative of Trench, and I think that's for the better. Without a master narrative, we can pull our own meaning from the work and apply these to our lives and our own struggles against anxiety, self-doubt, and depression. As 21 Pilots have grown as a band, they've continued to push boundaries. They make use of all of the tools at their disposal, particularly their dedicated fan base, to create a wholly unique experience. And that's what Trench is. It's more than just an album. It's more than just a video trilogy. It's an interactive storytelling experience. One that's constantly shifting and changing. And honestly, everything we know about Dima, Clancy, and the Banditos is probably just the beginning. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash polyphonic and enter the offer code polyphonic to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. If you have anything that you need to make a website for in your life, you should check out Squarespace. Whether it's for your band, blog, business, or just a weird site you want to make, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can use designer templates to build your own website. They've got award-winning 24-7 customer service and a really user-friendly interface. I recently used Squarespace to build a new website where I'm hosting all of the playlists that I make, and honestly, I loved it. I don't have a ton of background in web design, but it was super easy to make a seamless, slick-looking website. So head on over to squarespace.com slash polyphonic to start your free trial today. If you use the offer code polyphonic, you'll show them that I sent you, and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.